All right, guys, back by popular demand and suggestions from the subscribers, we're going to be taking a look at the top five best pistols to use here in Modern Warfare Zombies during Season 6. Like I always tell you guys, this is no official meta weapons list, but I guarantee if there was one, this would probably be pretty damn close. With that, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If y'all don't know, my name is Ghost. Appreciate everybody that stops by the video today. If you're into zombies content or anything, Call of Duty, rock the hell out of that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel, guys. We just hit 24,000 subscribers, and I cannot thank you guys for all the crazy love and support. I'm very first on this list, and I figured I would go back and try these things out because these were one of the original metas here in modern warfare zombies and i'm sure a lot of you guys know about these things i'm talking about the tier handgun pistols i do remember a few seasons back when these things initially caught the nerf man they absolutely put these pistols into the ground but for some reason here in season six they're feeling really good i don't know if they actually ended up catching a buff sometime in between not only are we taking out red zone zombies with ease but we're absolutely just tearing through these mega abominations they were actually taking care of mega abominations so fast i ended up dealing with quite a few of these guys during this match just because it was really fun to take them out definitely try out these pistols if you haven't picked them up in quite a while i'm telling you they're actually shredding here in season six we're gonna toss up the loadout up on the screen coming in at number four is going to be the x13 pistol from modern warfare 2 now, the main thing you guys are going to want to throw on this pistol to make it op is going to be that impact point barrel which is going to turn this little pistol into kind of a pistol smg hybrid and this thing just absolutely shreds so after you pack a punch the x13 you're going to be sitting on 100 rounds before you have to reload and this guy does reload really fast like a holding really isn't necessary but it does help now if you do slap on a mega holding you're going to be sitting on 600 rounds in this thing which isn't really the best especially with how fast that it shoots if you're comfortable with picking ammo up off the ground or you know where all the ammo stations are it's not that big of a con and as you guys can tell we are just easily hanging out inside of the red tier zone with this thing just deleting these red tier zone zombies even the armored ones the mega abominations are going down pretty quickly this thing absolutely just tears through the hvts inside of the red tier zone or going inside of the dark ethers absolutely a must try weapon here in season six you go ahead and toss the loadout for the x13 up on the screen right here know that this is a weapon that gets slept on a lot so definitely try this guy out and coming in and taking our number three spot is going to be the f tac siege i know this is definitely a fan favorite here in modern warfare zombies it comments about this weapon all the time and if i ever leave it out of any of my lists there's definitely people that are telling me about it now, i'm gonna be perfectly honest this is a weapon that took me a little bit of time to come around to because when this thing first came out in modern warfare 2 i just wasn't that big of a fan so it took me a little while to come around to it in modern warfare zombies but i'm pretty glad that i did this little pistol i guess if you can really call it that i'm kind of surprised it's in the pistol category because this thing actually morally reminds me of a little smg you're gonna kind of see a little bit of a pattern here on this list with that honestly guys if you got an epic or a legendary ether tool you can definitely comfortably hang out inside of the red tier zones or going into any of the dark ethers with this thing now if you guys are on controller this is definitely one of those guns that i can recommend you guys build it out for speed but if you're on mouse and key i would kind of recommend building this guy out for recoil control because the kick on this gun is insane but don't be like me guys and sleep on this f tac siege for too long i guarantee if you try it out you guys will really like it i do wish that it was just a tad bit more quick and snappy but the power and everything else really does make up for it go ahead and toss up the loadout for the f tac siege up on the screen right here i'm not gonna lie guys these next two for our last two spots was actually kind of a hard decision for me to make but coming in at number two is going to be the wsp stinger this pistol is just absolutely insane guys it's quick it's snappy the thing reloads so fast that you don't even need mega holding and even after after pack a punching you're only going to be sitting on 64 rounds but honestly with how fast it reloads i barely even notice it and instantly take down these mega abominations including the hvts it's definitely a really good weapon for taking on the storm caller if you put on dead wire you can take care of him really fast gun has carried me through countless elder dark ethers and gotten me some of those really good schematics this is definitely a weapon that throughout the last couple of seasons i've kind of been going back to this one a lot just something about it that i absolutely love the handling is really good like i said it is pretty quick and snappy definitely takes down anything that i needed to really quickly i have noticed more and more people actually rocking this pistol lately so i'm definitely glad it's finally getting the recognition that it deserves now you can rock the wsp stinger in a kimbo so you have double the firepower but at the same time i really like taking advantage of deadshot plus your mobility gets hit quite a bit whenever you put anything in a kimbo so i just kind of like having a little bit more mobility and then plus like i said earlier you can take advantage of deadshot and just hit those critical areas definitely one of the absolute best weapons in modern warfare zombies i'm gonna go ahead and toss the loadout for the wsp stinger up on the screen right here for anybody that wants to check it out and coming in at our number one spot is going to be the renetti now this pistol guys i actually have more kills in modern warfare zombies with this weapon than i do with any other weapon in the game well, besides the rgl but that's honestly just from spamming it inside of the unstable so i don't really think that counts now if you guys know me or you've been around the channel here for a little while you know that i actually prioritize mobility almost even more than damage they are right there almost neck and neck for me so when a weapon actually has the mobility 
mobility and it has the damage yeah that's definitely the stuff i like and this weapon is definitely one of the most quick and snappiest weapons in the game not only do you just feel incredibly fast with this pistol but the power behind it is just crazy you can instantly melt through mega abominations you got this thing with a legendary ether tool or an epic and you got it triple packed you can just hang out in the red tier zone definitely with ease just like the wsp stinger i really don't think that maga holding is actually necessary for the weapon because it just reloads so fast i mean if you have speed cola you really don't even need to worry about the reloads that much with how often that i find myself coming back to the renetti and with just the sheer amount of zombie kills that i got with this thing i just i had to put it at number one guys let me know down in the comment section what you guys are thinking about this list is there any pistols that you guys think that i missed or that maybe should have been on this list or if you have any suggestions for loadouts i'd love to know that as well we've already done the top seven best weapons to use here in modern warfare zombies and then we've done the top five best uh smgs to use now we've done the top five best pistols let me know if we should possibly do shotguns or ars next as always i greatly do appreciate all the love and support guys please drop a like on the video if you guys enjoyed it subscribe to the channel if anybody is new i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and i will catch you in the next one